here we go. Jonah Piggott, come on, welcome in. Whoa, hey, ha! It's a good crew, good crew here, Joanna. Joanna, we've been looking at people that are in the independent scene at the moment mm. and, and how expensive it is and so on through this morning. Just something a little different and we thought we should introduce a few new faces. You're not so new because we've seen and met you before, but you're in that area. Yeah. Now, uh, rather than go too long in this question and start to sound like Molly Meldrum, you've written for people like Dragon, Sweet and Sour, etc. How do people get into writing? Well, you just learn to write songs. I mean, I learned first by playing an instrument, and then after a year of that, I started to write songs. And it wasn't easy. You have to stick at it and just keep doing it until you feel you're capable. And then really, it's a matter of just working with other people and meeting people that are in bands, and, and you end up really writing for people and with people through personal contact, I find. I just was also looking for, say, I get a lot of letters, people have written words, heaps of words. Yes. They don't have music for them. Who do they approach with those words? Because some of them are great, you know. Approach bands, approach musicians. Just front up to bands on stage and say, oh, hey, yeah. you want to look at these words? A lot of bands would love pe people that write good lyrics to work with, I'm right. sure. I mean, what about music publishers? Would they go to them? Well, I don't think, at, at this stage, I don't think music publishers in Australia are terribly active at, at putting people Helping together. Helping that along, yeah. I think really it's a do-it-yourself business at right. the moment and really it's personal contact more than someone doing it for you. Having done what you've done for the various people, can you make a good living out of songwriting? Well if you're lucky you can or if you if it's the right people that you've yeah, you Yeah, you have to strike it like um, But you can make a fantastic living out of songwriting because um, it's something by law is that, that is paid you per, must get paid per, play. per purchase and per play. Yeah. So it's something that even after you've done it, sort of for several years, you can still earn little bits and pieces that all add up. The little that's residuals keep on mm. rolling back. Well, that's good. Mm. Now, why do you record under the pseudonym of Scribble, which is the way you record, not Joanna Pickett? Well, Scribble for me is a, is, is a band. It's a performance vehicle. Um, I do all sorts of things under my own name, like write songs mm. and write scripts and do stuff. But Scribble really is a band. So when you get up on, on stage with this band, mm. and the, the members do change, don't they? Or do you always work with the same people? Well, at the, at, I've, it's, a, it's been a developing thing. I've now, I'm now working with more people than I did at the beginning. Right. So now I have a full band, yeah, that plays How live in, and everything. How many in the group? Five. Where do you work tonight? Um, Bankstown RSL. Bankstown RSL. Yeah. Now, have you been working a fair Backers. bit live of late, have you? No, I've just started. It's just back on the road? Week. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, Ivor Davies mixed your next album. When does that come out? What will it be called? Um, that's called Pop Art. Um, right. uh, he did help, which was fantastic, and that's due out at the end of July. Mm -hmm. With all the arrows in your bow, singing, performing, acting, etc., which is the one that you prefer? I prefer performing as, as a member of a band and writing. As Scribble? Yeah. Okay, we'll have a look at them in action. Scribble, good video this too. Ta. Who did it? Toby's Oats. Good on you, Toby. It's called Sunday School. Scribble. But this is Joanna Piggott. Please thank her for being here.
Next week on the show, we're going to give away five of these. They're little beauties. They're called twin cams, and they're from Sharp, and they're worth a fair bit of money. So be watching next week. You could pick up a twin cam and a little rip out right, right along the street. Aha, could be on the show, we hope. Just hold that for me, will you, boat? Don't drop it. I'll break your legs. The sweet two will be here. Who said that? And Brian Cannon from Shudo Echo's coming in. You're a little bit. This song will be number one next week. Mark my words for Robert Palmer. He is addicted to love. Until next week, same time, same station. We are addicted to you. We'll see you then. It's been nice having you. Bye bye. <laughs>